Hi, this is Jared from Speaking Latino. Today, we're going to review the Gritty Spanish audio program. Gritty Spanish is an audio program for intermediate to advanced Spanish learners that will help you improve your listening and reading comprehension in Spanish. The program features native speakers using the everyday language, words, and expressions in conversations that you will actually hear on the streets. Gritty Spanish is all about real-world Spanish. Let's start with the content. So Gritty Spanish is a downloadable program that when you purchase, you download a single file, which is a zip file, and what you need to do is unzip that file. If you're not familiar with that, you can just Google unzip file and you will find instructions on how to do that. When you unzip the file, what you find is that Gritty Spanish creates uh, this Gritty Spanish folder and then within that folder are these subfolders and files. Uh, and so what you see here is you have two audio folders. You have the audio episodes at normal speed and the audio episodes at slower speed. And so you go in here to the audio episodes at normal speed and you see the list of the 31 episodes here. Okay, And then you go down to the slower audios folder and you see the same 31 episodes. However, these go at a 25% slower speed, so they work well for people that uh, need a little more time understanding what's going on in the conversation. You know, if you're not quite ready to hear normal speed conversations and follow what people are saying, then this slower option uh, will work well for you. And then if we go back uh, and take a look at the PDF eBooks folder, you'll see here that uh, there are 31 PDFs and then there's an extra PDF here that has all the episodes in one file. And that's just for some people if they want to uh, take that one file with them wherever they go. It's easier than dealing with the 31 files. And so if we just open one of these and take a quick look, you'll see that uh, on the left hand side is the English and on the right hand side is the Spanish of the same conversation. So you can just cover up the English if you want. Uh, and go through the Spanish or you can go back and forth whenever you get stuck. Okay, and so and then if we go back again and we can take a look at the ebooks for mobile devices. Um, I'm not going to open this, but the MOBI format is uh, an ebook format. And so what you just really need to do is copy this over to your um, Kindle or reading device. Uh, and then finally, this is uh, kind of a, a fun thing that I found that I like. We have about the voice characters PDF and this is just a short PDF. It's five pages but the neat thing about it is uh, and I think this is really great it tells you for each of the episodes where each of the actors is from. So Natalia in episode one is from Mexico, Janiel is from Puerto Rico, and Sebastian is from the Dominican Republic. And I think this is really good because this goes to um, our idea at Speaking Latino about teaching about the different accents on different vocabulary that you run across in the Spanish speaking world. And so if you hear an accent you're maybe not too sure about in one of the episodes, where is it from, you know, why does it sound different, you can come here and just glance through and figure out where each of these actors uh, are coming from. So I think that's a really cool feature of Gritty Spanish. Now let me show you how the Gritty Spanish program works. The core of the Gritty Spanish program is the 31 audio episodes that average 5 minutes long. The shortest episode being 2 minutes and 49 seconds, and the longest is 10 minutes and 33 seconds in normal speed. The episodes were recorded by native actors from Mexico, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Spain, Colombia, Bolivia, Venezuela, Guatemala, and Honduras. These native speakers give students the experience of listening to a variety of native accents and phrases. The stories are set in New York City and include background sound effects and music that will help you imagine the scene. I will play a, a clip here of episode number two. Son las cinco en la mañana y tengo mucha hambre. Necesito comer algo lo antes posible, pero todos estos restaurantes están cerrados. Ah, hay un carrito de comida. Por lo general tiene muy buena comida allí. Oye, quiero un plato de arroz con carne de res. También échale un poco de salsa caliente encima del arroz. Estoy muriéndome de hambre. Fría la cebolla bien. 
Y échala encima del arroz también. Señor, no tengo nada más de comida. Ya se acabó todo. Estoy haciendo la limpieza ahora. ¡Ay, carajo! No tiene nada en absoluto. ¿Tiene algunos bocadillos? Now here's the same episode in slower speed. And uh, notice the difference. Son las 5 de la mañana y tengo mucha hambre. Necesito comer algo lo antes posible. Pero todos estos restaurantes están cerrados. Ah, hay un carrito de comida. Por lo general tiene muy buena comida allí. Oye, quiero un plato de arroz con carne de res. También échale un poco de salsa caliente encima del arroz. Estoy muriéndome de hambre. Fríe la cebolla bien y échala encima del arroz también. Señor, no tengo nada más de comida. Ya se acabó todo. Estoy haciendo la limpieza ahora. ¡Ay, carajo! No tiene nada en absoluto. ¿Tiene algunos bocadillos? In this episode, the program exposes you to the Dominican accent, the Puerto Rican accent, food vocabulary, and real colloquial expressions. Now let's take a more detailed look at the transcript formats. You have the side-by-side -side PDF. You also have the Kindle version. and you have the PDF for mobile devices. And what you'll notice is uh, the PDF for mobile devices starts out with a synopsis in English, and then it has the Spanish version, and then the English version of the transcript, uh, or the scene that's playing out. You'll see that uh, the same thing happens for the Kindle version. So this is the English synopsis, and then it goes into the It goes into the Spanish, followed by the English translation for each part of the conversation. And this is different from the regular PDF, uh, which I think is the best option, um, because it gives you side by side the English and Spanish. And so if you want to just focus on the Spanish and you don't want to be looking or glancing over at the English, you can just print this out, fold it in half, And you can have the Spanish side in front of you, and then if you get stuck on something, you can flip it over to the English side. But what that does is that keeps you from uh, tempting, to, uh, tempting you to glance over and look at the English when really what you should do is work through the Spanish by itself and figure out the words by context. Finally, before jumping into Purchase Gritty Spanish, I recommend that you take a look at uh, one of the free episodes And it's a full version of the of the program. So this is uh, a full free episode that you will receive. And all you need to do is visit Speaking Latino for instructions to get your free episode. Gritty Spanish will help you improve your listening comprehension skills. If you are an intermediate or advanced Spanish learner, You can add Gritty Spanish to your arsenal, especially if you don't have the opportunity to interact with Spanish speakers on a daily basis. Once you graduate from textbook Spanish, I believe it is a good tool to experience the real-world Spanish, the one that you actually will hear on the streets of any Spanish-speaking country. I like that Gritty Spanish leaves out the neutral Spanish and that it exposes you to different Spanish accents and colloquial vocabulary. I think it's a nice way to share the diversity of the Spanish language. Remember. This is not a traditional audio learning program. It is a tool focused on listening to Spanish speakers. If you are looking to learn grammar, verb conjugations, etc., you will not find this here. Instead, Gritty Spanish will help you fine tune your ear with Spanish conversations at real speed with real expressions from real native speakers. These are what I found to be the positive points of the program. There's a good variety of episodes. The episodes are not too long. The excellent audio quality makes the episodes great to use. The episodes expose you to a variety of accents. The side-by-side -side PDF transcripts are great. Slow audio versions are extremely useful if you're not quite ready for normal speed Spanish. And this is what I think needs to improve in a future version. It would be great to have videos of the actors in the scenes and not just audios. 
Some people may not feel comfortable with the use of swear words in the stories. Exercises for each audio, for example, closed activities, vocabulary exercises, etc., would greatly improve gritty Spanish. It would be nice to identify Spanish words or expressions, for example, tío, pepitos, más lento que una melaza, hecha y derecha, in the PDF transcripts to learn how they are translated to English. Gritty Spanish is a first step in helping people learn about the variety of Spanish accents that exist. A further step would be to create videos or even whole courses to learn about a specific accent and vocabulary, for instance, Dominican Spanish.